Hello, YouTube and the YouTube cooking community. Hey, that's y'all. Uh, I have to cook chili for Tuesday night. Today's Sunday. Sunday the, um, let's see, 13th. Today's 15th, I hope. I think. I hope. Friday was the 13th, so Saturday was the 14th, so that has to be the 15th. All right. Tuesday night, I had to cook um, chili for a group of about 30. So, hey, why not make a video on how to cook chili the way I cook chili for a large group? Um, this is gonna be super simple. Um, there's gonna be a, a one or maybe two twists in there, uh, but, but it shouldn't be a big deal. Um, the only thing I do different is I cook my hamburger meat just a little bit different for my chili than most people do. And we will see that here in a little bit. Uh, but since this is going to take part over a couple of days, um, I'm going to cook the chili today um, at two different locations. I'm going to cook the meat at my house and then go to the lodge uh later this evening put everything else together let it come at least come up to temperature and uh marinate for a little bit and then i'm going to um, cut the heat and then I'm gonna, once it cools down a little bit i'm gonna put it in the ice box and let those flavors marry and then on tuesday after i get off work i'm gonna uh, run over to the lodge and uh, get everything warmed back up and we will have chili dinner that night. Um, uh, this is not, I sh shouldn't say that this is the way I normally make chili because I normally don't put beans in my chili. Uh, otherwise, I think that you have made a chili flavored bean soup. I don't like beans in my chili. But this being for a bigger group, um, I'm gonna put beans in to try to stretch it out. Um, uh, a can of beans is a lot cheaper than a whole bunch more hamburger meat. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna put beans in at this time just to stretch it, um, stretch the uh, you know the product. Um, so. Hey, let's get to the house and let's cook up some hamburger meat for chili the way I normally do chili for me. And y'all probably will start doing this too. Uh, the last time I entered a chili contest, um, it was just, you know, a small group of folks got together for a fundraiser. I decided to enter a bowl of or a, a pot of chili and I won it. In fact, um, they were joking that they could take half of the votes out of my bucket and then take half the votes out again and I would still win hands down. Because they had to get out a bigger bucket for mine. Uh, and everybody wanted my recipe, and I said, it's just standard recipe off the back of the chili packet, except I do something a little bit different. So I'm gonna show y'all that here in just a little bit. Hey, y'all stay tuned. Why do I say stay tuned? Y'all ain't going anywhere. I don't put commercials on here. The only one that needs to stay tuned is me because I need to remember to set up the camera and hit record whenever I start this process. Oh. All right, so how do I do this? Yep, you guessed it. It is much too nice of a day. I'm hoping that you can hear this. I'm kind of far away. It is much too nice of a day to be inside cooking. So what I've done, I've set up the Weber, which you can see behind me right here. I'm hoping I've got a, there we go. In that I've got Kings for Charcoal. And I've got two sticks of well-aged uh, pecan wood in there. I'll show you what I do next. So what we got here, as you can see right over there, I've got a 
14 pounds of hamburger meat that I've done in great big old pieces. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to scoot y'all over here where you can see a little bit better. Y'all can see I've got the hot over in this area. This is cool. I'm just gonna put these on the cool side of the grill. Vent over. Where it's on the cool side, let that smoke come through, and I've got the vents closed. To about a quarter. I normally don't stack that up like that, but I'm cooking way more hamburger or way more uh, chili than I normally do. Normally it's just one row, and uh, but this is a larger crowd. The main thing is, is for uh, this to cook and to get that smoke flavor through the meat. And I'll come out here every few minutes or so, uh, probably every, I don't know, check it every about 10 minutes and uh, just move stuff around a little bit where everything gets evenly cooked and that should be a great flavor and base to the start of the, uh, to the chili. All right, boys and girls, let me see if I can get you a good spot right here. This has been about 30 minutes. And I lifted the lid here a little bit ago. Yeah, that's still plenty hot. I lifted the lid a little bit ago and I was able to spread these out some. So I'm gonna do this pretty quick. Try to get that uh, fire to flame back up. Get some heat going in here. It's amazing. I mean, y'all saw this grill. I had it completely full. This is 80-20 hamburger meat. And how much it has shrunk, um, since I put it on here. This hamburger meat is just about done. I mean, you could eat it right now as a hamburger. Well, I'm gonna let it cook a little bit more. Flip it over. Are you even recording? Yeah, you're recording. Hopefully you're paying attention to what I'm doing. I hope. That one needs to go back over. But I've had this charcoal going pretty slow. Put some grease over here and fire this dude back up a little bit. It won't hurt to get a little char on some of these. But to look at these hamburger patties, these things have shrunk down in size pretty well since I put them on here. I almost wish now I bought another two pounds of meat. Um, but I've got a can of uh, chili beans, like I said earlier, that I'm going to throw in here. And that'll help um, stretch this out a little bit. I normally don't like doing that. Um, Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Put that over there. I still have plenty of uh, wood left. 
there's still plenty of charcoal left um, this could go on for a while and that's the reason why I bought the uh, bigger um, Weber grill so I'd have plenty of space on here you know I could put a couple pork butts on here I haven't done it yet but I'd like to put a brisket on here and have it slow smoke um, but this bigger Weber grill has got plenty of space on here and hopefully that you're picking that up in the background I don't know if you can or not if you're seeing it or not but I'm getting a little flame up back over here on that uh, pecan yeah that pecan's starting to fire back up I still have lots of lots and lots of charcoal down there I've got the vents right now as you can see about half the uh, bottom vents are wide open full I always cook wide open full and I'm going to take you off this and excuse the uh, unsteadiness. If you trust Weber, right now we're cooking along at that's 300 degrees and it's going up. And as you can see that, we've got some smoke coming out. Probably over smoking that hamburger meat a little bit. But that flavor will go into that chili pretty good, and uh, this will make a pretty decent chili. So, uh, hey, y'all, stick around for a little bit. I'm going to turn this off, let this loose cook a little bit more. Um, I've got about three pounds of onions, white onions I'm going to chop up and saute in the house. Uh, then um, we'll put all that together later on this evening. But... Uh, yeah, I've still got lots of heat in there. 325. I've got plenty of heat still left in there. So that hamburger's going to be plenty cooked. And I'll show you all what I do here in just a second. All right, it's been about... Oh, I'm going to guess about uh, 20 to 30 minutes. And as you can see, that temperature is still holding right there. It hadn't dropped a drop a bit all right now that we're back on the stand let's see if we can do this oh my goodness do you smell that <laughs> YouTube ought to have smell a vision by now get this inside well I'm over here at the lodge and this is my cooking vessel and I don't have a stand or anything to hold my camera on so I'm gonna have to do this freehand for most of it so you're gonna have to bear with me all right so what we're gonna do is I've got the hamburger over here I'm just gonna had a little tore off a little piece right there so we could have that as a tester all I'm gonna do is break all this up just like that so I'm gonna put the phone down and uh, break all that up just like that I'm gonna do that to hold the hamburger my hands have been thoroughly washed cleaned good sanitized and all that kind of good happy stuff so uh, I'll bring you guys back once I've got all this hamburger tore up. Okay, y'all, I'm back. What you see here is sauteed uh, onions. That's about uh, four or five medium to small, small to medium onions that's been sauteed, diced and sauteed. I've got a large can of uh, chili beans. Like I said, I normally don't put that into my chili. But I need to make this stretch. And I've got, see, three, seven cans 
of uh, Rotel. And this is the uh, Chili Fixins Rotel. And then after I get that in, I'm gonna add some water with the, uh, I think there's five packets, six packets of Williams uh, chili seasoning. I'll uh, stir that into some water, mix that in some water and pour that in. And uh, then we'll have a uh, starting to some chili. All right, we are back a couple days later. I'm not too for sure where I left off my last video. Of course, I don't have any uh, uh, equipment to hold this, so I'm holding it as still as I can in, in my hand. But I just pulled this out of the ice box a few minutes ago, put it into the warmer, and took a look at that. Now that is still cold, it's ice cold. Uh, but I've got uh, about two hours to bring it up to temperature. I've got the temperature on here about 350. I might crank it up to a little higher than about 400. I didn't mean to move y'all. But that is how to make chili for a crowd. May not be the prettiest pot of chili I've ever made in my life, but uh, I guarantee you, these guys will eat it. I've got some onions I'm chopping up. I've got uh, 10 pounds of uh, shredded cheese. I've got Fritos. And I've got uh, two different styles of cornbread coming in. I've got a, a couple pans of regular cornbread and some jalapeno cornbread coming in. So I get in, uh, also I've got some uh, sour cream and I have some freshly picked jalapeno peppers that I'll slice up. You can see down there in that corner. I'm gonna try to get down in there. You can see that trying to bubble right now. Yeah, buddy. All right. Hey, y'all have a good day. And I'm gonna sit here and babysit this and, and stir it and make sure it didn't burn or stick or nothing or scorch. And, um, you know, it is 90, I think 96 degrees outside. Humidity's through the roof. It is absolutely hotter than the hinges of hell. So what better thing to have for supper tonight than a great big old bowl of hot chili. Hey, I'll see y'all later.